so just uh, just a few seconds just quick all as we begin this program what is your goal no for yourself or for your relationship some of you are uh, individual uh, or some of you are already in a relationship married so if you are couple you can think for your couple if you are uh, individual you can think of your own uh, uh, your own future uh, future uh, family or relationship or anything. just you can write it down well uh, can you can you speak a little louder okay so because i have kept audience. i have kept everything uh, maximum uh, so yeah i'm able to hear is it audible now yeah participants please uh, yeah, yeah, the, you yeah, can put it on the chat box whether you are audible whether father is it, audible it is yeah. echoing a little sir father uh, it is echoing echoing uh, yes father since i am in the hall okay. the only place that i can get the net okay okay that's why the volume is going low actually okay but please Hello. Now, how is the volume? Hello. Little better, father. But there is. Yeah, okay. We will that see. It's it's echoing. Uh, if the mic is closer, it is better. That's what somebody is uh, typed in, sir. Uh, mic is okay. 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 Is it is it better now? Hello. No. No. Is it audible? No, father. No, no. No. Okay. Just a minute. Okay. 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 Hello. Hello. Is it better? Or is it is it audible? Is it audible now? It's audible, father. Okay. Okay. But the echoing. Is the echoing point. is there. Echoing is yeah. there. Yeah. Is there? Uh, is because of the room where I am sitting. Yeah, but if you turn the okay, full volume, okay. Uh, we will proceed. If it's very difficult, let me let me. Oh, yeah, I have kept the full volume. Okay, okay, father. Okay, then if you're finding very difficult, let us see what we can do. Somebody is saying completely. Mm -hmm. I can't hear anything. Sundar, Lord Sami. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're not getting it, huh? Yes. There is a break also in the voice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Try speaking, Father, again. Okay. Yeah. So we will, uh, you know, we will proceed with this. I'm also uh, because uh, I am able to listen to you. I am getting it clear. Your voice is very clear. So we begin this program. So we have uh, we have a goal and uh, you know for your relationship or personal as well as for relationship. I'm also chatting with uh, this uh, you know, um, where you have chat box, no? So where you get that one? I'm not, I'm not getting that uh, because I would like to know your response. Um, father chat is down yeah. down father next okay. to the next to the participants yeah next to the share screen you have chat father next to the share screen you have yeah. chat okay anyway it's not it's not appearing okay let us see okay. if you see your uh, open let's see uh, okay so it's also good to know what is our impression no what is our impression regarding couple relationship because each one has got a different impression uh, some people may feel it is quite joyful 
some may feel you know it's heavenly some feel it is mysterious and some feel it is puzzle you know, puzzle to you know, live and some they feel that it is blessing and uh, for some it is uh, like loss of freedom when you get into you no know, relationship that is the end of my freedom my you know uh, being myself and uh, some others feel uh, ruin and some others have the sensation of a fulfillment fulfillment now i have achieved so we find a mixed mixed feeling you no know, mixed feeling among the among people so some are positive and some are negative okay so just a few seconds you can think of what is your impression you know, on the couple relationship just few seconds please use the chat box and the answer i am mother it is it yeah, is uh, you are it is uh, very is, difficult um, for that it's uh, too much echoing no please not getting it. you are not getting it now it is see your voice is clear but you know too much echoing you know it is uh, very disturbing okay but yeah for me it is very clear no you will be you will get it clear because you are okay. getting our voice okay. <laughs> so uh, yani i i don't know since i am sitting in a hall that is, is why a, this is an auditorium okay yeah that is why that is why father otherwise i will have to go to terrace i don't know how it would be no you can you can you can go to your room no father a room i am not getting the net i am in a first floor in life oh. center okay uh, first floor where where i get the maybe i will check opening another there is one more window is there i will just open and see whether there is a section okay okay i think you continue continue for the here only it's okay finding it good so uh, is it is it possible to share uh, your opinion i am also very the chat box i am also not finding it See what all the icons you have, Father. You, if we ping, you will be getting Father. Which one? Um, Father, if you have uh, connected over a phone, yeah. there is an option of more. Go into the more, and then you will have a chat as an option. Okay. You are connected on the phone? Yes, yes, I am connected on the phone. Go to more, and then you will have options of a chat. More, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank okay. you, sir. thanks sudarshan yeah so i uh, thank you thank you sudarshan so um yeah good your responses yeah you can write your responses okay some of you are puzzled many many puzzles i am getting <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> yeah yeah puzzle is something like you no know, uh, it's like a mysterious mysterious uh you're, you're right no uh, there could be also positive uh, positive responses um positive uh, responses to uh, positive responses we feel but not always you no know, sometimes we feel puzzled we feel mysterious because our life itself is mystery no we do not know tomorrow how the relationship will be of course out of trust and confidence we can um, we can then of course there is some one is some sundar is uh, writing blessing depends on how uh, how we view it yeah uh, yeah that's fine so it's beautiful beautiful so you are all reflecting the view of yourself as well as in today's uh, world and today today's society you know? so why uh, it looks mysterious you no know, why we find it is uh, no um, it is a path which is uh, unknown sometimes sometimes we feel insecure sometimes it is joyful and sometimes it is suffering why why we have such type of uh, such type of experience such type of opinion it is because life itself is of that nature life itself it is not it's not sure now we are all in covid uh, no 19 and we do not know when it will end no certain certain aspects in our life is it is like that uh, therefore it needs lot of uh, trust confidence hope 
know, positivity to live happy. The other way, if we approach life with a lot of negativity, hopelessness, you know, um, doubts, uh, doubts, then it will be, uh, you know, it will be difficult to live our life. Therefore, uh, we need to develop this positivity. This aspect of mystery uh, is the, you know, it is in, uh, you know, inbuilt in our, in our being. It all depends on how we develop our life. We will go to the next one. Okay. So now I think this one uh, you have uh, you have already in your uh, worksheet. You might have uh, you might have worked. So in relationship, we we will be thinking uh, certain aspects which uh, you know which will help us in our relationship. Already, if you are in relationship, doesn't matter. You are married or single. You no, know? just think about uh, how is your communication. What are the positive things and what are the you know, strength that you have to, what are the, what are the areas that you have to go? You can think about your own communication style, you know, what are you good at? It? Maybe one or two. Okay. Just for yourself, just for yourself. It also helps you to take, uh, you know, to, to take account of uh, how you are communicating. If you have your if your sheet with you, do you all have your sheet, the exercise sheet with you? You can you can write it there also if you have that exercise sheet, no, in case if you have not done. It's mostly communication is about sharing your thoughts and the feelings. Okay, later we will see a little more uh, detail. Then about the conflict uh, resolution. Mm -hmm. So how you solve the problem? You are able to when there is a even small or big thing, how you are able to discuss and resolve differences. Conflict happens when you are you know, when you come across uh, differences. What are the strengths in managing the economy? You are the first one to go and talk to the other, or the other comes, you just wait for the other to come and talk to you. Maybe, maybe even if you put one, uh, no, uh, one attitude that you have, one skill, one strength that you have, that will help you. Then partner uh, style. And uh, habits. Okay. So, what do you find there? You know, your strength, you know, your own personality, habits. This is about your uh, partner. Maybe just one thing you can put for, one thing that you like. Father, yeah. can you can you put full screen, Father? Yes, sure. Full screen. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Oh, then the financial aspect. This is very important in uh, you know, couple life. The major uh, problems that arise is financial thing. So how do you agree on? How do you handle? How do you agree on? What are your strengths? You know, transparency. For example, one one example is transparency. You are open in talking. Okay. Or you decide together on. Leisure activities, another important uh, aspect. So, what are your uh, leisure activities? Strength. There are leisure activities which uh, which you share together, you and your couple, you know, or your uh, friend, or if you are living in your own, uh, your own uh, like met, you will be uh, sharing the activities.
then sexuality and affection it is also an another uh, important area so how comfortable are you in discussing you know discussing about those areas and expressing your affection areas to grow okay there are you have some difficulties we don't uh, we don't see that as a negative aspect but it is an aspect which uh, an opportunity to grow so we look in uh, look like that family and friends we feel good about our relationship and uh, relatives and friends so another important area where we we'll get lot of uh, you know, conflicts in um, in couples relationship is family issues you no know? so in laws issues are there and you no know, friends issues are there so how you get along what are your strengths and what are the areas you have to you know, grow then relationship roles here we are uh, maybe in family enrichment programs you might have uh, gone uh, gone through different roles that we bring into the relationship of course those things also matters but here we are uh, uh, you can think about the roles means the responsibility roles how you take up responsibility what are your strengths you know in taking up sharing responsibility decision making how do you involve in decision making some people take up you know some some people go out for shopping or you know uh, some people never go out for shopping they only spend the others so the strength area this uh, you can if you take up these uh, you know uh, responsibilities okay you can uh, you can add that and in your growth area in case if you have not done for shopping or helping or leaving the kids in the schools or any other chores in the uh, house you can uh, you you can add that then children and parenting so how both of you are agreeing in parenting you know uh, different people have different style husband is having one one way of uh, parenting A wife would be having another a different type of parenting. So how do we agree? And what are your strengths? And what are the areas to grow? Then spiritual beliefs. Another important uh, area. is uh, spiritual belief you know uh, actually husband and wife the couples they both uh, they don't usually share a same level of uh, belief you know uh, similar religious values and uh, uh, their own conviction and if they respect each other there is no problem but if they differ in their values and uh, uh, you know beliefs there is another area where they come across a lot of conflict therefore what are your strengths in your relationship that you can uh, mention that so and what are the areas that you have to grow maybe wife is very religious very ritual she practices no she wants to you know go to the church or temple maybe three or five or four four times a week and the husband is uh, least bothered about it then that also brings a lot of conflict among, among them good so this is very very important actually this is we have done it personally you are uh, you have done it personally but uh, this one is a very important aspect these are the important aspects in couples life where uh, they get into lot of conflict and if they work on the different issues that actually strengthens their relationship okay so you have done it individually but you can do it Uh, as a couple, like usually we do it as a couple. We we are so communication, conflict resolution, partner's uh, style and habits. So that's basically about their own uh, uh, personality and habits. 
and financial. Financial aspect is very, very important, especially at this time. Then leisure activity, sexuality, family and friends, relationship goals, children and parenting, spiritual things. Of course, there may be um, some other aspects also, but these are the main aspects. Actually, they have done a lot of study over you know, the issues of the couple, and they have concluded uh, these are the very important main uh, areas, issues, where couples have difficulties and conflict. So if they work on this, it, their relationship will be uh, excellent and very positive. Okay. So now we go into the couple's, uh, you know, couple's life, couple's journey. So we will be touching a different uh, aspect, different aspects. Uh, so as you go through, as we, you know, as we see this, so you will be able to understand the different dynamics which are involved in couple's life. First of all, let us reflect about the beginning of couple relationship. No? How does the couple relationship begin? So there are two, two sides are there, two, two, two ways. No? One is generally in the Asian way. Asian, what is the Asian way? The Asian way is fixing the marriage. No? The parents fix the marriage. No? Everything is arranged. If you, if you take uh, Asian like China and Philippines and uh, our Indian culture, usually it is, they say, it is very controlling. It means everything is organized, everything controlled, especially uh, around the relationship, around the family, it is controlled. You know? Everything is controlled. The other, the family takes care of it. Family decides. From a childhood, you can see, uh, you know, the way we bring up children also. Like, uh, everything is decided by the parents. So taking up joining the school, taking up studies in the college, and also uh, choosing the life partner. No? Of course, now it is uh, now it, there is there are differences. Some people you now have love marriage, choose their own partner. But the Asian way of doing it is it's more of uh, uh, you know, fixing or you know, desiring for uh, desiring for their own children. So therefore. Uh, we enter into a couple relationship it's because it is arranged. But it's not always true, no? Some people, they choose, especially if it's a Western way of dealing, they choose their relationship, they choose everything. They give more importance to their own individuality, so therefore they choose their relationship. So it is of their choice. These two concepts, two way of, you know, uh, entering into couple life is there, so that becoming aware of it and it will it has its own consequences in a western type of choosing the couple when you choose the couple what happens is you go through a different phase you know like you have an attraction you have dating you have non-attraction you have you know, developed romance and all that but in the asian way of our indian way of being arranged you know when the couple when the marriage is arranged then you have to begin everything after the marriage, after uh, after getting married. So therefore, it is very slow and different uh, process is there. So what we are going to see is after marriage, after marriage or after getting into couples, uh, in general, we are not getting into uh, the the dynamics of uh, like getting attracted and you know, and afterwards getting into a romance period because. Uh, in our culture, we are, we are also talking here about the cultural context where we are. No? So it's better to understand from our Indian uh, concept. The second one, the need for companionship and relationship. Uh, it's it's uh, important. See, every culture, uh, every culture organizes, uh, to some extent, organizes a different phase of life. The birth, they have a celebration. No? In Hindus, they have a celebration when there is a birth. And when there is a puberty, there is a celebration. Whether it is uh, Christians or Hindus, there is a uh, no? certain celebration is there. And um, for marriage also, there is a celebration. No? And again, when there is a, when, when a mother gives birth, no? uh, so they, uh, there is also celebration. They call it Walega or something. No? So, this is, every society has got certain rituals around different stages of life. Different stages of life. Actually, this is a transition, developmental transition. 
development of country to make it smooth and uh, uh, very you know very soft this uh, transition the culture has got ritual around it and one of those rituals are marriages marriage and uh, if you have done psychology many of you are psychologists and you are there right? erickson talks about different stages of life you know? erickson talks about different stages the crisis and solution of needs and uh, marital life anybody can tell what is the age of marriage adult life what is the need <clears throat> what is the need in adult life when they are entering into adult what is the need what is their need adult life when they enter into yes yes uh, asha sex adult. and uh, Se security ah uh, security intimacy relationship so this is the adult exactly this adult you know when you are from adolescent to adult adult years this one is a uh, greatest need and naturally this tension arises uh, tension arises in the in the human you know human psyche that it searches for relationship it's not like a relationship which is just they seek for uh, you know friendship but it is very intimate and uh, you know very physical uh, you know they want to generate so this type of intimate intim intimate very close relationship which is actually resolves the loneliness no? so this is a natural developmental process you see how culture has beautifully arranged uh, marriage in, in a particular age and marriage resolves actually these need for intimacy and you uh, know this closeness uh, if everything goes on well the need is uh, no it is need is met so marriage is as we saw this uh, the beautiful uh, aspect and uh, when when it is all positive the needs are met and then the, uh, the they proceed to as couple they proceed into giving birth and they become become parents and all the process the development of process is smooth you know we have a lot of uh, preparation you know for this uh, couple life uh, so, sorry we we have a lot of preparation for a different uh, different uh, um, areas walks of life like we have given for lkg and schools you know we have a lot of exams and uh, colleges needless to say i think government has put new entrance exam for you know, from the coming years so entering into college also will become very tough so you have to study and all that so long training for any type of art you know so how much training we take for marriage it's a pathetic uh, situation so uh, actually we need lot of training especially when we are talking about training for marriage it is basically training for relationship skills relationship skills so we have to spend a lot of time in uh, learning how to relate because relationship is still is an art it is a mystery it is worth the learning uh, it's a worth the learning not only for couple life for any any really anything uh, any walks of life relationship is very very important in our life we have different different types of relationship no so different types as we are born no uh, we have a parental uh, relationship you no know, father and mother relationship is there we have sibling relationship we have relatives especially the in laws you have cousins you know uncles aunt you no know, cousin sister all these things are there and we have friends we have uh, Uh, and there is also relationship of a couple is there and there is also a relationship of children is there so in our life we find uh, you know different type of relationship here we are not going to deal about uh, those uh, relationship we are only going to deal about couple relationship so let's not uh, get carried away by different types of relationship so we are not going to deal here about uh, genogram so we are not going to deal here about uh, geneogram because uh, one of the uh, you, uh, we cannot avoid when you are talking about family when you are talking about couple um, uh, no entering into geneogram but we are going to look at look at it from a different uh, perspective okay? we are not going to exactly do the geneogram and you know do that exercise and many of you may be aware of the geneogram so here if you see there are uh, three types of uh, no generations are there 
so here it is when you, when you talk about couple which is only here no this so we are talking going to talk about we are going to deal about only this relationship this relationship between the husband and wife so we are not more going to deal about the grandparents and the, the, the children no so the couple here how to know how to understand this uh, couples that dynamic so what are the important factors that are involved in uh, understanding this dynamic stage first of all one has to know the self okay so there are two persons are involved naturally one is husband and the other one is wife two persons are uh, involved so first of all a particular person individual has to be understood who am i you know a better knowledge about our own self then we have to understand about the other especially we are not going to understand completely totally about the other but here we are going to see the relationship between okay the, the interpersonal relationship so we will be dealing about knowing the self you know, knowing about myself then this uh, interpersonal relationship and the skills needed you know specifically skills needed to Uh, understand this dynamics and develop this uh, relationship. So this is what we are going to see. So knowing the self. So first factor is uh, in in my relationship, you are a wife or you are an husband. In our relationship, there are a lot of influencing factors. First of all, my own my own self, my own way of thinking, my own way of uh, feeling, my own behavior. There are a lot of influencing factors. No? Uh, for example, my own family influence. This is what we find in uh, genogram. Now we we explore how our uh, family affects our uh, relationship. Okay, my my father, my mother, my parents. How I live the family atmosphere. So my family, uh, now my family of influence. So taking care of my own family factor. Then my own habit. Okay. so from my childhood i have developed a certain type of habit so i have to be aware of what type of habit i have no habit to be like the way mannerisms the way you uh, know the way you speak your tone of voice um, your uh, you know your behavior your way of walking even your way of dressing uh, you know way of eating Uh, you become aware of it. Okay, this is your habit which you picked up from uh, from your uh, from your family, from your family. See these things when you are when when you deal when you are establishing a couple relationship when you are establishing a family. Of course, this one uh, uh, comes you no know, comes into uh, you know, comes into your relationship. The way you talk it affects the other. the way you even move your gestures it affects the other no the way you dress it affects the other how many times we hear couples saying that once you get married this uh, no the boy is telling uh, no telling the other you should not dress like this you should not wear this one that one so no, why because no, under under the you know in counseling or in the sharing we we you know that they find it very difficult to change you no know, because it they have it which comes from very early age on when you are child itself and it's very difficult to for someone to change immediately okay. so becoming aware of it let's see let's see how you can cope up with that but you can becoming aware of your own habit you know your own habit uh, eating habit you know sleeping habit or uh, whatever a lot of it it's a, it's a watch thing then culture each Uh, though uh, though the couple may be from same uh, you know, same culture for example tamil nadu but the cultural context is different so there has to be really become aware and become aware of it. cultural context is different because the person from you uh, know chennai is entirely different from the person from kanyakumari you know? their culture is entirely different and uh, you know the chennai culture is very very different so becoming aware of that this is an influencing factor in my person put in my personality and the values you know we have uh, each one has got different uh, values values we develop uh, through you know uh, through role models seeing our parents seeing our teachers what is taught to us and what we are convinced is slowly it becomes value you know repeatedly taught to us becomes a deep value in us 
therefore uh, each one has got a deeper uh, no value for generosity is a value for uh, one person uh, whereas the other person may not have a generosity or for example hospitality hospitality is another value a person may have discipline may be in another value punctuality may be in another you know uh, another value hard working may be in another value and maybe from a rich country rich uh, sorry rich uh, rich family but uh, my value is working no when i was in abroad i know a, a, a kitchen staff who is who was working where i was staying uh, she was 65 years old she used to work you know she used to work uh, we, we used to from our from, from my indian uh, you know indian mindset i used to ask why should you work she is uh, her son is a scientist she, she is actually teaching in one of the top most university and she comes every day and she cleans the house she cooks she works you know the deep value that she says uh, my value is work i have to work i have to earn my money you know so that is the that is the value you know? so such type of value or deep which comes from uh, our own family uh, from our childhood and this is one of the main uh, you know influencing factors then thinking and belief you know the way we think the way we interpret you know, the way we process things is entirely this is also we are it is coming from our own uh, our own background influences from our uh, past from our cultures from our family from, uh, from our surrounding so uh, our thinking may be a couple uh, husband thinking may be different from uh, the wife's way of seeing you know it can be generally positive or negative or the way they interpret Uh, it will be entirely different uh, and the beliefs uh, what are the beliefs that they have on no? the deep uh, belief the people who come from different uh, remote places uh, sometimes they have some uh, like uh, superstitious uh, belief you no know, superstitious some maybe you know, the wife may be having a strong uh, superstitious uh, belief for example uh, fortune no seeing fortune or good time they should not uh, no Uh, they have to when they go out or they make some trip, uh, so they have to always see, you uh, know, nalla nayar. So they have they have to see that. But husband may not share the same belief system. No, husband may not share the same belief system, and that can bring a lot of conflicts between them. Therefore, thinking and belief is very very important. This also, um, you know, this also an ingredient, an important factor for our emotion. If we, if there is no thinking, if there is no belief, I think there will not be uh, no emotion because that only triggers our emotion. If we have positive thinking, it affects our emotions, and if we have negative uh, thinking, it produces negative uh, emotion. My own temperament. Okay, so temperament is we are we are born with our temperament. Personality we develop, of course, unconsciously, but we develop when we are child. Personality, but temperament we. when the child is within the womb of the mother the temperament is built you know uh, various factors it is a, it is this is how we are born no some are uh, you might have heard about easy child some are difficult child some are active some are very relaxed you know calm some are sensitive some are very irritable so these are all temperament with which we come into this world we have this temperament so that we have to accept accept this temperament then personality personality is we develop but we actually we had less control over development of our personality we have a very less control over our personality because it happens in 5 to 7 years uh, up to uh, up to 15 years or 12 years it is called unconscious years unconscious years which means Uh, we have we, we have a less control over what is going inside ourselves. Okay, and so whatever behaviors we see, emotions we see, whatever things we hear, everything we take in, and that is what uh, you know builds our uh, our style, our personality style. Then sex and gender, another important influence factor within us, uh, sex and gender. No, so I am male, so uh, male and female and. gender is a cultural role expectations so that also influences a lot in my in my self then religion of course uh, it can be mixed with beliefs also but the religion where i belong also uh, shapes my 
way of thinking, way of uh, behaving, my interpersonal relationship, everything is shaped also by religion. And the way I handle my life, per uh, perceive my life and handle my emotions, the view of life, no religion. See, that is, if you are a very religious person, there is a tendency to trust in God. So everything you surrender to God. No? So uh, you don't go into a deep, a catastrophic thinking and so on. No? So you surrender. Now we are in a very critical situation. So if you are really God-fearing and faith, what happens is the way you handle the situation is different. Uh, than the person one who is atheist, one who doesn't have, you know, doesn't believe at all. There will be a lot of stress, there will be a lot of anxiety uh, to such type of person because there is no higher, they don't believe in higher power as we believe in ourselves. So, you see, there are different uh, influencing factors. All these factors we have to take into consideration when we are uh, in, uh, talking about, you uh, know, when we are talking about uh, our own, you uh, know, influencing fact factors. Okay. This is a background, this is a background. Each one is a different area, this is a background. But as we go through, we are going to touch different uh, aspects, so it will be helpful. So now we are going to do a small exercise for you. So choose, uh, this is uh, mainly for how, you know, how it has been influenced in our life, especially our parent relationship. Just write five adjectives, you okay. think that reflect your relationship with your mother. Could be positive or negative, whatever. And five with your father. Which parent do you feel very close? Why? Yeah, you can create it as well. Yeah? Yes, Father, five. Oh, yeah, yeah. Five, oh, okay, five is good. Eh? If you have five, if you write, means you have better self-awareness about your own self. Uh, okay, so five adjectives about your own father. To which parent did you feel closer and why, why is it there feeling that other parent? Hello, Father, I have yeah. a doubt. Yeah, please. This first one relationship that is regarding now or the child? 
our relationship with the mother right, is right, right, right. because now right. the relationship may be changed yeah totally it will change totally now we will reflect no. yes yes it okay. will totally change so uh, yeah or if you can add it but in the more focus it is 5 to 12 years yeah. because uh, if we are not close with our mother sometimes when you become adult you are very close no. with the mother as, as yeah yeah age, true whatever whatever we admire now that we yeah. eating when we are child <laughs> when we when they grow no when they grow also of age they they soften up no they they also change but especially yeah, what remains inside our uh, our mind is uh, of our past experience actually the relationship with our real parents has changed but the experience that we got earlier in our life as mm. a child has not changed with the relationship with others we only project those relationship of our parental relationship with others not to our own direct parents it has changed okay. like this Okay, if you are not able to uh, get uh, five, it is uh, no, it's okay. Whatever is possible, you can you can try. Good, good. <clears throat> okay, don't compare. Yes, someone has written uh, like I'm uh, not able to come. I'm not able to stop myself making comparison. Now, no need of uh, making comparison. Uh, this is an activity, so you can uh, no, you can. Uh, step away from emotionally being triggered okay we uh, because we are in online so um, no need to go for deeper uh, things but uh, becoming aware is very very good no so the third one uh, if you look in this third one to which parent, parent did you feel close and which parent did you feel uh, no uh, away there has got lot of things to tell about your couple relationship i think If you are very close with your mother, naturally you will be close with uh, uh, no motherly things. Especially if the boy is close with uh, mother, you know, he has a natural uh, naturally feel is not afraid, not distant with the wife. But if the husband is having uh, the relationship with the mother is distant, what happens is the same thing is reflected in the couple's life. The same thing for the wife also. The same thing is for wife. If she, if she is having a good relationship uh, with the, the father, close with father, a natural relationship tendency, you know, that will be she will be very, very close, very free with the husband or all men generally, but close with the, the husband. But if if she is distant with the father, so that can reflect into the relationship. so the relationship dynamics one thing that you have to understand become aware of your own relationship with your parent is very very important the root cause of your relationship style uh, lies there you know your relationship with your parent especially your father and mother uh, we will see those aspects that this is of you know the attachment that you had you have developed with your mother especially you know that's the tone for your relationship style but your father also matters no because the demanding figure that also matters so okay. good the last one is that is also an important one when you are upset as a child when you are upset as a child how what you have a child what would you do this is an important factor for uh, you know handling the stress you know when you are upset as a child you know, what would you do? maybe if you can remember one that is uh, that is a sufficient most of the times as we grow as adults from childhood to adolescent adolescent to adulthood our how do we manage stress these times if you are uh, involved in webinars and so on there are a lot of webinars a lot
other seminars that are going on and stress management, you know, uh, stress management. So what is the, there are different angles of that, but each one deals with the stress in a different way. And where do, where, from where I have learned the way I have, I, I, uh, you know, I manage my In couple relationships, there is a difference in managing the stress. The wife may be uh, having a different way of managing their stress. For example, if they are stressed, you know, they go and sleep sometimes, or they keep away, or they talk, you know, talk to people. Uh, yeah, whatever maybe. Or some people they, they spend, you know, they, they go for walking or they eat, whatever. Maybe. Husband may be different. Husband may be different. He may go out or he may get into some, uh, you know, some type of drinking or. Uh, father some doubts are there uh, yeah that is what you know uh, some people were raising hand yeah, uh, would you like to attend to them or uh... yeah we can attend it because uh, yeah if it is if it needs a bigger uh, thing and all that we can postpone it but yeah. short one you can sudarshan yeah, sudarshan yeah, please yeah. unmute and ask yeah please please go ahead. Uh, father i was just typing it out in the chat window i think uh, the hand raising was by mistake. I'm sorry for throwing ah, the answer. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Then. It's okay. I saw, I saw it, but I did not see any hand rising. So, <laughs> okay, so okay. Proceed. Fine. So, so far it's, it's okay. You are you're able to get it? You yes, sir. Any, yes, yeah, father. No? So, see, this last one is very, very helpful for stress management, especially for the couples, because each one, the way they handle their stress is different which they learned from their childhood, okay? Now what happens in couple life, uh, someone is stressed, no? Some, someone is heavy, coming away, means coming back from a uh, you know, lot of heavy duty, heavy, you know, and has a, uh, so they come in very, very stressed out. The way they relax, the way they relax from the stress is different for the husband and wife. What happens if they don't understand each one's style, uh, what 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 will happen there is the wife will force the husband to relax in a, the way she thinks. You know, she would be telling that if you take rest, it will be all right. Go and sleep. You know? Or uh, you know, if you go out for a walk, it will be all right. So you go for out a walk. Or you listen to music, it will be all right. So what happens if you don't understand the pattern of handling stress? of the each other, we will be forcing on each other, then that is the source of conflict that will increase the stress. For some people, if they are stressed, if they talk out, they, they talk it out, they share, things will be all right, there's nothing a problem. But if suppose husband thinks that uh, when husband's style is, while well, he is stressed, he has to be quiet, he has to go inside the room, what will the husband tell if somebody, if some wife is stressed, he will say, Go out and sit, you know, go, go out there and sit. Be quiet, stress will go. Okay. So from whose background, from whose perspective, you know, uh, the husband is talking is from his own child. This is his way of handling the stress. So there is no specific, no specific way of handling stress. People can tell a lot of things, but it is, uh, you know, uh, each one has its own hand that has got a constructive way of reducing stress as well as destructive way of reducing the stress. So now, now you have to understand what is my way of uh, controlling the stress. You know? This is very important because if we take care of this one, we can avoid a lot of conflict, even we can avoid a lot of pathology. Okay, the way of handling, what is alcohol addiction? What is the smoking addiction? What is internet addiction? You know? uh, it's all the way of reducing their own stress. Okay, in a simple terms, it has got a vast thing. The way of you know, calming down, it is actually called as a regression. Regression. Freud talks about the regression, going back to the fixed fixation. You know? So, regression. So becoming aware of my pattern of my stress, what happens is I can come out, come out of it. Unconsciously, we may be playing out. We may be repeating the same behavior. We may be repeating the same behavior, no? Like food habits. If you are addicted with food, no? 
maybe child when I am stressed, I may be, you know, I calm myself uh, you know, out of uh, meeting or uh, or expressing my anger, you know, hitting someone. So these are all a way of calming down or sleeping too much, um, you know, or keeping me aloof too much, withdrawing from that. So these are all childhood stress factors. Okay, so we will go ahead with uh, the thing. Good. So now we are coming to the need for the relationship. We, are, we will be dealing now about the need, not different needs. Uh, the relationship is the basic need. It is the basic need. And we, if we understand the need that is involved in the relationship, and if you are able to fulfill that need, the relationship becomes a satisfactory, joyful, you know, uh, it's becoming a bliss. You know? It is really you enjoy the relationship. But you have to understand that what is the need? Each one will have different needs. Needs that are not met. It is met by, it is satisfied in the couple relationship. Then that is a habit. And if it is not satisfied, then it is there. No, it is becoming a conflict and it is a hell. And if people seek to fulfill those needs from some other place. As human beings, we have different needs. Okay. So, physical uh, need is there. Okay. Maybe remembering mass flow, but we are not taking all the aspects of the mass flow. But it's the need. No, the general, we are more focusing on the relationship for survival and uh, the material and the physical resources. So, physical need is very very important. Whether I am, uh, no, whether I am a child, or adolescent, or or an adult, uh, I have to satisfy the physical need that is very much important, first of all, for the equilibrium and for the happiness. Then the psychological need is there, that is an interpersonal need, that is what we are uh, talking about today, no? that is that involves the security, attachment, affiliation and intimacy. This is all the interpersonal need. And the social need is connection with the other status and identity. So we are not individual uh, human beings, we are also social beings. We, uh, some people prefer to live alone, but living alone is not positive, not positive. Either you have to, you have to have connection. Even if it is not a human being, you have to connect with nature. Okay. So therefore, social connection is also another deep need. No? And uh, different, uh, not like status and the image, uh, those needs are there. Then spiritual needs. Pertaining to happiness and spiritual spirituality, spiritual meaning. You know? So sometimes, though physical need is fulfilled, uh, psychological need is fulfilled, a social need is fulfilled, people they don't find the satisfaction. You know? They search for something. So uh, that is because that is there is a deeper need for spiritual spirituality. So one way, uh, that's why, especially it happens in adult life, you know, like if you are 35, 40, 50 and all that is there, they will go into different, they take up a pilgrimage, go into religious, you know, uh, functions, uh, begin to talk, and they involve a lot of uh, spiritual activity. So that, that happens naturally because of the need. Okay, now we are focusing here about for the couple's uh, no, relationship dynamics, we need to understand the different uh, needs which are involved with them, okay? different needs that are involved. What are the underlying needs ought to be met if the couple, the husband and the wife, if they understand from each other, what are the needs that they have and how it can be satisfied uh, then there is a growth in their relationship. In relationship, there are some something that we want to get. I mean, everybody wants to get. You know? So if they are newly married, uh, husband and wife, they are newly married. They are expecting something from each other. Okay? So they are expecting trust. They are expecting love. They are expecting uh, acceptance. They are expecting affirmation. Uh, they are expecting the respect. <clears throat> a lot of things are expected. You know, being valued, all those things. The problem comes when these needs are not met. Okay? So one or both parties are not aware of their needs, then uh, so they express. So how can they go about, they have to express their needs. First of all, become aware of the needs. 
and express their need, you know, become aware of their need and express their need. Most of the problem, you know, it is an unmet need, unmet need, unmet childhood need. I childhood, our relationship is motivated by need. Even our emotions are motivated by our need. Our behaviors are motivated by our need. People have different needs. No? Need for power is there, need for achievement is there, need for uh, status is there. Okay, there are different needs are there. But here, in relationship, we are uh, specifying. We are not going to say all the needs. You know? So that will require another webinar session. But we will uh, important needs which are very, very important, essential for relationship. That is what we are going to see. One, the need for recognition and approval. Okay? The need for recognition and approval. So one's action and mode of uh, life uh, mm, uh, seen and valued by the other. So <clears throat> need for recognition and approval is one of the important needs, you know, valued by the other. The couple has to, in order to develop that relationship, they have to value each other, appreciate each other, recognize each other, recognize each other. I have to be recognized by the other. I come into the world alone. When the baby is born, baby is born, if it is left alone, it produces a lot of tension. The baby is crying because so far it is enjoying a lot of warmth and love and all the satisfaction, you know, the togetherness is there. But the baby is put outside, you know, when it is born, it is coming to a different situation. So it needs the recognition of the other, it needs the touch, it needs the sound, it needs some sort of connection, it needs a recognition, you know, recognize, okay, you are there, you are important to me. So that one recognition is very much important and appreciation, approval, you can also take it approval. Appreciation means I value it. You appreciate, oh my God, you are cooked. So a couple says, no, they say, uh, they have to say, no, oh, okay, you are clean, the, today the house looks very neat, what happened, no, you are clean, very good, nice. So you cooked well, okay, very good, nice. Um, or uh, today you look good, no? it's another compliment, it's an appreciation, it's a recognition, no? Sometimes you wear something new, uh, some uh, what do you mean, some dress you put, no recognition. Recognizing means you are giving importance to the other. No? This need for recognition is inbuilt in us. What happens is if the couple, if the husband and wife, if they don't recognize this, even small thing, then that becomes sad. No, sometimes the wife may ask, "I uh, today I am wearing nice dress and you are not looking, have uh, not looked at all. No, you have not said anything." Today, I cleaned, I changed the room, I bought the photo and I kept it here, or picture I kept it here, you are not, uh, no, you have not seen this. Or you, I have, uh, today I have cooked differently, I tried something new. In quarantine, they are trying a lot of food, a lot of uh, dishes, no, and putting in these papers and all that and so on. Fine, but is there anybody appreciating the cows, no, the couple, okay, they well no, they will say they well So that is against recognition and appreciation what happens is that affects the emotion that affects constantly if it is affects it affects the relationship therefore this recognition and appreciation is being built you know every day in order to strengthen the couple's you know relationship uh, every day at least one or two times we have to recognize the other even seeing the other is a recognition that means i tell you i value i value you know I'm listening i'm looking uh, everything, being with the other, you no, know, everything is value, you know, helping the other. Okay, recognition, appreciation, very, very important. Um, being as a part of the society and family. You know, so we need also, we are, we are as human beings, we need not only couples uh, recognition and approval from our parents, the family, from our children, everything is important. But here we are focusing on uh, the couples, uh, couple relationship. Okay. Everyone needs to feel that no, is the effort. The efforts are being appreciated by whom she, for whom she strives. The effort that is put, effort, the wife put the effort for whom? For the family or the couple. Here we are talking about the couple. No? Suppose a wife is uh, doing something uh, for, the, for the husband. It is natural no? and voluntary, automatic to expect 
expect something from the couple, no? Me to feel that value. I have put certain effort for my husband. Suppose you are washing your clothes of your husband, or the husband washes the clothes of the wife. Does it happen? Sometimes it can happen. Okay. So, or they cook, or they unconsciously, even if they don't express, unconsciously they expect some sort of recognition and approval. When it is done, actually it increases our positive emotions, bonding, it increases the bonding connection. So this is a very, very important aspect in our relationship and if couples take care of this, their relationship dynamics will go into a positive line. Need for self-esteem. Okay, and another self self-esteem. So we talk about self-esteem a lot, a lot. Uh, so need to know that he um, or she uh, is worthwhile. You know? Is what worthwhile is uh, intrinsic value and important, uh, important and worthwhile. To think that they are important and to work well. I am important. That is very, very important. Actually, self esteem is, you know, self esteem is built from our, uh, from our childhood. Right? Even before we, we, we were born and after we are born, how we were treated, how we are treated by our own parents, our attitude. Even they may not say, but non verbal communication of parents. Um, <clears throat> Even the other day, um, I was I was just standing. I went some places. And I was standing in a regular family. Uh, the relatives they come. They were there were two children. They were playing, and the relative was telling uh, to that uh, boy. No, there were two boys. One boy he was he, he was mentioning. Ah, he is very intelligent. He he is very you know uh, very shrewd, and you know he is very active. The other fellow no, he he is not very attentive. No? He is very dull. He is not good at studies. So, in he, just publicly, she is passing a she is passing a comment. Uh, the child hears this, no, hears this. So we hear from our childhood a different comment, no, positive and negative, which will be of evaluative statements about our qualities, capacities, our own self worth and intrinsic value. Okay. So how it is connected to our uh, couple's life is. If a uh, wife, you know, for example, if the wife is, has received a lot of negative comments yeah, and uh, is not valued for her work, her own resources, capacity, if, you, if she is having a very low self-esteem, then the need for self-esteem will be high. Now in husband relationship, in the wife and husband relationship, if the husband tells uh, a slightest comment, degrading, putting down, criticism, it will affect deeply the wife. For others, it may not look right. Suppose if you share, if the wife shares with some friends who is having a normal self esteem, doesn't matter. They will ask, you know, how much matter? Okay, so it's a big thing for her because of the low self-esteem. So this, this actually hinders a healthy human relationship, not only couple relationship, any uh, human relationship. Father? Only, yeah. Yes. Sir. Um, you know, there are people who who don't understand Tamil in this group. Okay, okay. okay. So now I'll avoid, I'll avoid. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, so any relationship, any uh, any relationship is need the self esteem. No? So, Virginia uh, Satya, uh, no, in his, uh, no, in family therapy, he say he he was focusing on this self esteem. Of course, in family therapy, they don't much focus on here. But one of the therapies which she talks more about in family and couple relationship is uh, no Satya, no Virginia Satya. And she would talk about uh, the give importance to the self-esteem. And in couple life for relationship is the self-esteem need is very, very important. If there is a low self-esteem, this is a cause for hatred. This is a cause for inadequacy, inadequacy, you know. So unable inability, you know, inability to do things, you know, it can put put down, it can destroy the person is if a person is constantly experiencing uh, attack on the self-esteem. 
that can lead into lot of uh, hopelessness, inferiority complex, and uh, trust issues, all these things. Then they uh, they block, you know, they put a defense on their sharing, vulnerability. They want to protect themselves. And that is one of the main cause for separation and uh, divorce also, you know. It is attacking on the self. No, it is not only words. If you see the second sentence, you could understand the child receives from the parent the attitude. Parent the attitude, no? attitude, value, uh, no attitude, and uh, no how how they how they relate with the person. It is not a it is not the couple's dialogue that affects uh, most of the time. It is a non-verbal communication, the tone of voice, even the gesture, no. The gestures and the attitude, everything, the way, the distance, physical distance, emotional distance, everything uh, communicates that you are valuable, you are worth, you are whether you are excellent, whether you are beautiful, whether you are you know educated, whether you cook well, or whether you are you know um, you are rich, you brought a lot of wealth from your family, doesn't matter. I value you, you know, as a person. If the couple could develop this type of attitude, actually, a person with so low self-esteem will grow in self-esteem, and that becomes an enrichment and a growth in couple relationship and the dynamics. The reverse also could happen. You know, if both are affected, the husband and wife have a low self-esteem, naturally their language will be negative. Language will be putting down each other. Okay. The language will not be like encouraging the each other. It will be on inadequacy. It will be on hatred. It will be on hopelessness. You know that expression of self-esteem also either it could be you become more submissive or you become more controlling and dominant. So the way we express this need also means uh, how how we compensate this need also plays a vital role in couples. Uh, Dynamics, no. For any conversation, somebody will put the other down. For any conversation, no. Suppose you share something about, or you are watching a TV or a nice show, you are saying, "Oh, how beautiful!" No, they are singing. Immediately, the wife says, "I'm beautiful singing." The husband says, uh, "You men, you know, you don't have sense of uh, music." No, it's a simple command. You have sense of, which means that what they are not valuing your opinion. Uh, so if someone is with low self-esteem, it affects that that night. No, they would be sleep. It will disturb them because it has got a root cause of low self-esteem. So the need for self-esteem is very very important. That has to be taken care. Actually, the couple relationship can heal this uh, lack of uh, self-esteem. No, so it becomes a healing spot and healing place. A couple, uh, no, if they give that, uh, if the needs are met, need for love, need for love. This is uh, this is for everyone, and this is the most important thing. No, the need for affection is the need to give and get love. Everybody wants to give love and get love. It makes one to feel important and valuable. So it's not only in the beginning uh, beginning days of uh, beginning uh, days of marriage, but all through our life. All through our life, we need we need love. We think that only the child needs love. Child needs affection. No, uh, child needs touch. Child needs closeness. Child, child needs the expression of love. No, yeah. adolescents they need maybe in a different uh, way and different uh, measures and different intensity. But uh, we need that love, especially couple relationships. They need this love, even if they don't express the heart. The internally they should feel that they are being loved. The emotional distance is the. No preclude for the uh, no for the emotional divers and upwards it becomes a divergence. Emotionally you feel you are not connected. Emotionally you feel that you are not loved due to various reasons. But if you feel that emotionally you are loved, even if you are not talking, see some couples are living in abroad. Some are in India, some are in abroad. Sir, can you repeat that because the, there was a break. Voice got broke, Very father. Much. Yeah, emotional, emotional distance. Emotional disconnection, distance, the distance. No, when they feel, you feel emotional distance, that means that you are no more loved. There is a distance in loving relationship. You are living together, but emotionally you feel that he is no more connected. There is a disconnection. Like right? now in the web, no? there is a disconnection. So this is a physical disconnection. 
but the emotional distance emotionally what you feel that you could sense that you are no more connected there is a there is a distance is there that comes because there is lack of affection in the house okay for a long time there is lack of after the expression of love expression of um, that affection in the words in the gestures in the in the, in the attitude in the way they, they express if, if it goes on no and uh, uh, under the previous thing no lack of affirmation and lack of uh, no attacking criticism all these things so slowly the heart begins to feel that uh, no i am not experiencing love and there is no more connection so when when constantly felt and that causes lot of longing there is a vacuum there is a emptiness is felt in the heart no though the other is present so that those are all signs and symptoms that you have to take care that something is going wrong then you have to develop this need for love expressing this need for love no this is all we are becoming aware so what is happening is a couple should become aware what is happening to them you may feel loneliness hostility anger depression stress all these things but what is the cause deep down what is it you feel that you are not loved you are not getting what you want what is that you want what is your need no? therefore expressing our couples should express their needs deep needs instead of uh, expressing their need no? for example um, the husband and wife the husband comes back from uh, comes back from the uh, uh, work uh, and immediately he goes out for some other meeting friends and shops you know, very very familiar uh, uh, incident so what happens is the wife uh, wants the husband to spend uh, time with her uh, you know to be at home because the whole day she is missing you know so she has told the putri that uh, she she is not listening so afterwards what happens she starts scolding she starts scolding why you are uh, not going out you are uh, no you are you are not taking care you are not responsible all these things then there is a fight between them but now there is a fight and there is a hatred there is a negativity but what happens here is uh, how what is what is what is that the wife needs really is the presence of the husband and if the husband is present nearby what she is getting any idea what what does it get by just being present any idea what she is getting if the husband is present Com- company companionship yeah, company. so by being company what she is getting quality time Yeah, by quality time, what she is getting, what she is receiving, quality time is there, very good. And company, so, yeah. somebody has written secure, fine, yes, secure, security is one thing. You don't feel lonely. Ah, lonely. So, so if you are not lonely, what you are getting? Not feeling. Sorry. Feeling, if you are not lonely, so what positively what you are receiving? You are not lonely. Happiness, yes, happiness, yes. feeling happy feeling connected loneliness antidote of loneliness being connected no being connected friendship okay so that love eh? so that love connection secure that is the deepest need that you want and because of that need if you are not able to express it directly in a assertive way in a clear way in a one to one transparent way what happens if you are not aware of that need what happens is it can turn into conflict it can can turn into an anger expression of frustration expression of anger expression of negativity you know hatred and that one only leads into lot of problems in the couple relationship so this type of becoming aware of this need love need you know and uh, once we see some people oh my god if i if i express this what he would uh, he would say you know yeah this is couple relationship you need to take the uh, take the courage to express this you know therefore then you will feel that fulfillment and warmth so expressing that the deeper needs are uh, willing so already you mentioned the security need for security if need for they are entering into a relationship who will enter into a relationship a person one who is feeling secure security is important for any relationship and especially for couple uh, couple relationship security is very very important 
what do you mean by security? Experiencing safety, you know, uh, and uh, is not a threat, and uh, freedom from fear, uncertainty, and uh, doubt. Uh, if you if you listen to some couples who are not enjoying their couple life, uh, you would uh, hear that this relationship is no more safe for them. You know, especially in DV, like domestic violence issues, you will feel that no, oh, it is not safe for them. Not safe. That is the extreme case of uh, physical violence. But experiencing this safety and freedom from fear and anxiety is very much important. Stress in marital life, stress in couple, couple life. What is the stress is coming from? Stress is a flight to fight response, which comes from the dangerous situation, okay? And uh, uncertainty, anxiety. If the couple relationship becomes you know, a reflection of anxiety, uh, anxiety, then there is a security issue. You are no, no more feeling safety in the presence of the other. Therefore, in order to change into positive, you have to grow, you have to give security to each other. A person, now you have to go back into your own, uh, your own past uh, experiences. The early child would provide you security. The family should be a secure atmosphere, that would have been secure atmosphere. If you have grown in a secure atmosphere, security atmosphere, you have received security from your mother security from your father, then what happens is you are a very secure person internally. You don't, uh, no, you, you don't get afraid easily. You are able to, you, know, you have a sense of security and safety inside. When you have that, this need for security is less and your couple relationship becomes better. Your relationship becomes better. If uh, there is an argument, a difference of opinion, you don't, uh, you are not threatened. You are not threatened. Small problem comes, you are not threatened. Uh, family responsibility issues, uh, difficulties, illness, everything you are able to face. Okay, uh, in laws issues you are able to face. You know? When a couple come into life, you know, for, uh, you will touch a little bit of the in laws also. When a couple, when a, when a wife is getting married and is coming to a new house, you know, it is a new relationship. It is a new situation. It is like going to a moon. You know? It is uh, no, it's going to a new, new world, no, new territory, and uh, a lot of insecurities are there. No, and uh, how you can develop that couple relationship? How you can the more the husband uh, gives the safety for the for the wife, uh, for the in-law, no, for the daughter-in-law. If the family gives more safety, that the girl will be happy. Okay, we have reduced the insecurities, reduced the threatening situation, make it clear. No, the relationship, everything. Develop. So in husband and wife relationship also, it is uh, not developing the security is very much important. Safety. Only when there is a safety, it's not only physical safety, it is also emotional safety. In couple relationship, they share a lot of, uh, uh, lot of vulnerable things, you know, very secret of, of their past, past life and their own mistakes, their own failures, um, no, their own uh, no, uh, violations or whatever may be, or their own defect, uh, their own vulnerability. So they share a lot of things out of, they, they will be able to share this only when they experience the security. When do they stop all these things? They stop, they produce to put a big wall and the defense mechanism comes in lack of security. Defense mechanisms are created because of anxiety, over anxiety not able to tolerate anxiety and too much of the insecurity is there therefore this protecting uh, aspect is only a uh, different mechanism. so in couple relationship what is more important is there should not be too much of defense mechanism. defense should not be there okay they have to break those differences they have to make some holes you know they have to make it little flexible and uh, share with each other their own strengths and weaknesses vulnerabilities and you know uh, their own positive side and that helps and that is very much important that they grow into uh, a secure uh, relationship independence okay. it's a beautiful thing independence you know, a couple relationship how we can grow into independence you know? yes we each one need independence this is also a life uh, developmental process you no know? independence is and developmental process if you see if you see uh, ericsson's developmental pages 
uh, Erickson talks about uh, autonomy. In the second stage itself, he talks about autonomy, you know, autonomy and freedom and doubt. You know. Therefore, it is, uh, you know, inbuilt in our, uh, in, in, our uh, in, in, in our natural development. And this will surely, this need is there for each one, whether it is husband or wife, this need is there to be independent, to be free. You know? Yeah, free to be thinking, taking own decision, taking responsibility, you know. And without uh, this uh, independency, development of identity is very difficult. Development of identity is very difficult. Okay. Who, is, uh, who is very much uh, into independence and freedom, man or woman, husband or wife, whom do you think? Naturally man. Naturally, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> encourage. Man is encouraged more freedom. But these days, yeah. Some other opinion? I think for the present generation, because earlier women were not given much freedom. Yeah. So now I think it's them who are aspiring for more freedom and being able to make their own decisions. Yeah, fine. Yeah, your answer is right. But what about men? In the present generation, do they search for freedom or no? I don't think they do because right from the childhood, they've been given the same amount of freedom. They can do whatever they want. So okay. they don't have this. We have the marriage, we have shock. <laughs> <laughs> so you see the, see, women earlier, uh, as you, I don't know who uh, shared that point of view, but it's okay. Uh, so women, they are growing into that freedom because of the cultural openness and opportunities, fine. And the men, they have, you say, this naturally it is there. Uh, of course, the culturally they are also encouraged because they go out, fine, fine. So cultural men, they maintain their freedom, they are free. Women, girls, they are free. Now, these two free people are entering into couples. Independent people. What will happen to the relationship? Any idea? There will be lack of attachment. Yeah, then some other thing. In terms of independent thinking, independently taking decisions, independently taking responsibility. Sometimes so it that, that, Sorry, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. It lacks yeah. security then. Yeah, lacks of security. There are a lot of tension, no? There are a lot of every day becomes life becomes conflict, tension. As you said, you know, there is lack of security, lack of yeah. And uh, one more sir, like when both of them are having that freedom, it becomes a question as to who is going to give up a little. Yes, 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 yes. And to live together, it is important. Living together. Living together, no yes. couple life. One has to give up. Adjust here and there. Adjust both adjust of adjust. both of them, both yes. Of them. Okay. Sometimes they speak about taking turns. This time I give, I give. Next time you give up. Okay. Whatever. Maybe. The couple therapist, they say that each one is uh, uh, aiming for so much of freedom. It is very difficult to live together. Difficult to live together. Live together. Live together. Live together. Yes, it's very difficult because two individuals cannot, two independent people cannot uh, cannot live together. It is very difficult because, as Rama said, no, there is a lot of sharing is needed, there is a lot of give and take is needed, a lot of adjustment is needed. This is uh, this will this, it will be very very difficult for two independent people. That is why we find in modern days. Living together becomes very difficult. You want a girl tells her, oh, I have to, I am leaving my family and coming, no? You, are, you also leave and come. Okay, do your family and come. One week here, one week there. Okay, we will live, you come to my home and live one week. I will come and live in your home one week. Okay, that sounds reasonable for them. Okay, so both are exercising uh, their freedom. So, the research and the couple therapies, they say, if each one is searching for more than 50 percentage of freedom, 50 percent, more than 50 percentage of freedom, living together becomes very, very difficult. Okay, so we will uh, we'll, we'll stop here, uh, Krishnan.
Yeah, we can take a few questions further. No, sure. please, please, yes, yes. So, so. I will, uh, I will give you also yeah, at the end. I will, I will give you an exercise which is here. Yeah, if you have any doubt so far, any any question or any doubt, please. So far in what we have seen, any any doubt or anything you want to clarify and anything? Friends, any questions? Kapoorji, Malin, Mani Megalai. The following are the names. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Rama. One minute, Christian, sir. Yeah. Yes. Go. Sudarshan. Sir, then you said when two Indian persons come together, there will be a problem. Then what is the solution for this? <laughs> two, two, individual come <laughs> two individual come together is a problem. No, I did not say like that. Although maybe there is a break in my voice. I did not say that. <clears throat> Living together is two, two individuals. Independent. Two independent. Independent. Who was strive? Yeah. Who strive for independence? Two indi uh, striving independence is okay. It's okay. We need certain amount of independence and freedom. But when that need is excessive beyond the 50 percentage, living together is difficult. Any decision will become difficult to make. Okay, living together becomes, you know, uh, there will be tick for that, and you know, you you mind your own business, I will mind your own. There is, we need to give up certain things, you know, compromise a certain thing, which is where you can compromise, you have to compromise. Where you cannot compromise, you like, you know, the things that you can change, you change it. The things that you cannot change, you accept. You know? So that is the principle that we have to go. Where then in taking the decision, living together, it is not giving up totally. You have to have freedom. Which means here, the need, what we are seeing is the need for independence, need for freedom is not only for men, for women also is having that need. When the husband gives the space for fulfillment of that need of freedom, the wife feels happy. The wife gives the space for the husband to exercise his freedom. The husband feels happy. So helping each other to fulfill this need will keep that relationship together. Instead of blocking that need. Not excessive need, no? So, okay, he wants to be free for sometimes he wants to go out and meet friends. Okay, you go on top, but please come after two hours, you please come. So what, what you are doing is, as a wife, what you are doing is, you are giving freedom, okay? Now the wife uh, wants to go for shopping or meet her uh, friends, no? Her school friends and what, you know, wants to go, or some other things which she wants to do freely, or she wants to take up some classes or some education process. Uh, she asks for, uh, you know, a certain amount of freedom. You give, okay, you can go. But not going and not coming back, no, giving stipulation. So each one respects freedom and giving some space, then you can, you know, that is the issue should be. You got it? Yes, yes, sir. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's clear. Yeah. But how it can be explained to lower economic group people, or because since I'm working as a counselor and co, yeah. uh, how I can make it clear to those people. I have uh, given programs to lower economic uh, group of people. In my understanding, I, I have to meet, meet up with like thousands and thousands. As far as I mean, they have a better understanding and giving up and you know, uh, you know, carrying that element. It may not be one couple, but the other couples, it is, it is inbuilt in the family, you know, the lower economic group. That is the, it is inbuilt. There are a lot of sacrifices there. But sometimes the wife gives up too much and feels nothing. I am nobody, you know. When you sacrifice too much of freedom, you will enter into like I am nobody. Okay. So there is a that will lead into dissatisfaction. That is speaking, you know, 
explaining to them and giving in, in a particular context only you will be able to explain where that freedom is captured you have to speak concretely in their day to day activity and uh, what will be unthreatening to the husband to give it those things you have to find out and you have to start with a small step okay 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 so i okay, think father, thank okay, you okay good so please do those uh, those exercises you you have done it already no yeah. uh, so then so so one minutes pass sir you currently told that uh, certain people have that feeling of uh, lack at like continuously they are giving up yes so that happens at a later stage when they have been non stop sacrificing and they are not getting anything in return probably at their 40s and something like that only that is where they get back yeah get back what i mean to the other partner sir they have been sacrificing a lot continuously you yes, as yes, you yes. said you mentioned just now yes yes so that's what they are continuously sacrificing uh, you have to also re- see the pattern what type of uh, mm. pattern no? and what, and how, what? They are, how they are stressing themselves in that particular it is seen as positive but how there are certain uh, unhealthy also you know the destructive pattern also is there so how they can make it balance you know and even the mother helping the other or taking care of wife is taking care of the husband and taking care there is a pattern is there from the childhood uh, going out of the way and helping you know those pattern so that you you love to check them how how this pattern is stressing you know? is yes. coming to your point of uh, self esteem sir yes so uh, most of them like who are lacking in self esteem during their childhood yeah that is what you mentioned so yeah. do their uh, couple relationship gets affected more possibility if the if the other partner is uh, is not uh, healthy if it is they are they are not you know they are also they are also equally low self esteem and if they are more uh, dominant type superior controlling that type of father it is not clear for the hello yeah yeah i think the net was also weakening okay uh, it is it is uh, it is not necessary but as a couple relationship with the other partners of low self esteem for example the wife is also low self esteem the husband is low self esteem and they are using this different uh, game play of controlling dominating now that it can happen otherwise if they are giving if they are not affecting each other mm-hmm. you know physically it will not happen. thank you thank you sir okay okay then thank you uh, krishna and i just wanted to tell one thing krishna yeah, yeah. but i sent that attachment style i sent again did you yeah uh, please send that because i that in that what happens is there is a correction in attachment style uh, exercise okay uh, if you can check participants if you if you have or to your hand i will i will send that Uh, send them. See, there is uh, already marked. There is a A, B, C column in there. Yes. Okay, father. Yeah. So underneath, in each box, something is uh, into mark is there. No, there is a there is a mark is there. So It wasn't have, there. Yeah, yeah. Already cross is there. So what you have to do is how you have to do is you just read and see whether that is appropriate for you. Which is appropriate? That is what That's I have already given instruction, father. Yeah, which is appropriate. Fine, fine. You are already given. That is fine. That is the only thing that we want. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Then we'll see tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Christian, sir.